Well, welcome one and all to the Bike Racing Without Mercy training vlog. It's my last training session ahead of my hospital, ahead of my operation tomorrow, and the focus is on enjoyment. Enjoy the sensation of training, the empowerment it brings, the sense of exhilaration. So I've been hitting some strength training that excites me, that I enjoyed, and now just hitting the first hard interval on his tempo with surges. A training I absolutely love. I've increased the difficulty factor by 3%, just searching out a tiny bit more progression. Now this is the fourth time that I've competed a variant of endurance with surges over the last six weeks, and I adore this style of training. I definitely think I've seen progression in both fitness but also mental fortitude. And that explains why I selected this session for my final hard training for a couple of weeks. It's going to be hard. And the main bit of progression I'm seeking is a slightly more powerful tempo during a two minute rest period. Now this isn't optimal. This is my fifth day in a row of hard training and or racing. And normally I'm very religious about taking at least two full rest days and having two days of low intensity or just upper body and low intensity. So this isn't optimal, it's unusual for me, but it's my last training for at least seven, maybe 14 days. So I'm gonna go out with a bang and enjoy the moment. And for me, that is what a healthy lifestyle and enjoyment of your training, any nutrition, any recovery entails. Second interval coming, aiming for 390 to 410 watts. Always feels like a mountain to climb at this stage, but as you'll see, the single leg pedaling drills have warmed me up nicely, as has some of the strength training that I'll show in a bit. Here we go. Now I always forget awesome. to film me saying like and subscribe, so if you enjoy these training vlogs, please do. So here we are back at the beginning of the training session where Ed had prescribed the single leg cadence work. I love this stuff. I find it slightly easier at a lower cadence. You can see I'm in the kind of 50 to 55 range. That's because the single leg work allied to the lower cadence emphasizes the mind-muscle connection. Really focusing on a nice circular pedaling stroke, pushing down, and pulling back and squeezing the hamstring to kind of pull back upwards to create that circular motion with no dead spot. Here's a transition. So concentrate on the transition. And it feels good. It definitely warms up the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, and there's a lot of core stability involved in this as well. So it's perfect ahead of the main training that you've just been watching and we're about to go back to. It also complements, I guess, the deadlift work that I was doing earlier, that you'll see shortly. This one's better quality, not talking as much. This feels like an eternity. 
Let's go to see. Transition to 2.30. Trust that the body will find the equilibrium regarding the breathing, the cadence, and slightly lower heart rate. Number seven coming. Transition now. Wowie, this is horrid. I'm telling myself I'll miss this massively over the next period of time. It's going to be hard not to train. I love this stuff. Exhilarating, thrilling, empowering, taking control over my progression. Working in partnership with Ed Overett, enjoying the racing and the community. <laughs> I love this stuff. Come on, Darth Vader. Give me the force. The amuse boost provided by the warm up and single leg drills into the appetizer of the 15 minute zone two creates the perfect introduction to the main course, which itself deserves a three Michelin star rating. And for me personally, the thrill of hitting the big watts for 60 seconds and then holding on to respectable power in the upper zone two, lower zone three range for the two minute recoveries is intense almost as intense as my favourite strength movement that started off the proceedings for the morning in the eternal quest for some last minute power gains pre-operation. I pull back. Single leg deadlift to warm up the glutes, the hamstrings, a bit of quads and the core and a bit of back ahead of the main event itself. Irrespective of whether you want to do the full conventional deadlift or trap bar deadlift, I think that these single leg deadlifts, or indeed the single leg Romanian deadlift variant that I showed in the previous vlog, are perfect for the cyclist because they build strength through the glutes, the hams and the core, and they also build up the smaller stabilizing muscles, so they're great for injury prevention and even power on the bike. And because they are light, with emphasis on the stability, they're less draining on the nervous system and easier to recover from, or indeed slot in well, ahead of a cycling training. They do feel good. Yeah, but they certainly leave you out of breath, as you can see. What do you think, Darth? Now looking to harness the force for the biggest bang for your buck exercise in the galaxy, the trap bar deadlift. Seeking out a little bit of aggression on last week, aiming for seven reps rather than six. Powerful, I right? bar speed, rapid. Notwithstanding the greater weight and therefore intensity, and in turn the increased demand on the body, as you know, I'm a big advocate of the conventional or trap bar deadlift, provided we keep the form good and stay well short of muscle failure and fatigue. And in part, my recent progression on the bike can be attributed to better strength and power to the lower body and core. Now I've built these up from three sets of four reps of 80 kilograms to three sets of seven reps with 80 kilograms over the course of the last month. Yeah, felt decent. I like the rep speed, like I like my cadence, fast. Um, I'll check out the replay, make sure the form held solid, but reckon it did, knees out over the toes, chest up in order to get the back straight, lock it out and push through with the glutes and the hips. 
onto the bike in two sets time. Tenth and final set. And as I thunder into the final act, my confidence continues to rise, lock step with my heart rate, and I'm doubling down on my resolve not to let off the power in the two minute recoveries and to hold on to the watts for all I'm worth in the surges. All of my senses are dialed up to the max. I'm saving the moment and my pain face is of course fully deployed, DEFCON 1. But believe it or not, it's one of my happy places and I'm gonna miss it when it's gone and enjoy building back up once I'm able to train again in the post -op. Building fitness, recovery, and mental fortitude. And now, a bit of zone one, high cadence, and on to work. Oh, that was a nice way to sign off.